Hello everyone. Welcome to What Even Is This? Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Now let's laugh at some batshit crazy people together. We need your help. And so let me apologize for anything the church has ever done that might contribute to the hate we are currently seeing. Also, sadness. These are my fellow citizens that live here. I know it was called vandalism, but it was hate. It's how we show up for each other and our families and our homes and our communities and our neighborhoods. We got to show people some love. Spokane City leaders are sounding the alarm about hate in the city after that pride crosswalk in downtown was set on fire Thursday morning. Thank you for joining us here on Creme 2 News First at 4. I'm Whitney Ward. The day after a group of people set fire to that pride crosswalk in downtown Spokane, dozens of city leaders came together to show their support for the LGBTQ community. It was just spray painting. Now it's flammable. So the violence is escalating. And that's what we're concerned. You said you're an EMT. You're responding to a health emergency. Biological male. Somebody with a penis is, uh, is having a medical emergency. And they say to you, um, I think I'm having a miscarriage. Would you, would you check them to see if they're having a miscarriage? Would you consider that a possibility for them? No, but that's because some people don't have body parts. Sounds like we've established there are some people who in principle can get pregnant and there are some people who can't. There's two categories. It's Oregon, yeah. abortion. Are you cool with that? No, I, 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 that's very sad. But what percentage is it of those women? What fucking percent? All of them. That's the only way they can get abortions so by coming here. Every woman that's getting an abortion is due to medical procedures? No, most abortions are. No, but they're not. The abortion was of a dead embryo. Okay, sorry to hear that. That's most abortions. That's not most abortions. Yes, it is. Because Have you looked at statistics? Most abortions are cleanups after miscarriages and women can't even get those that I know. No, it's less than 1.7%. No, you're a fucking moron. Oh, uh, you don't know the statistics. Miscarriages are extremely common. And most women opt to have miscarriages and abortion are different. What is what is abortion? No, a miscarriage a is a medical abortion. No, it's no, it's case. not. Okay, let me let me educate you. Okay. Yes, it well, fucking on, is. Hold on. Hold on. Get back. Hey, get back. Hey, hey. Hey, that's get back. not okay. Don't put your hands. Hey. We have Pride Month. Well, what, what are we celebrating? First of all, how about we don't celebrate pride? Pride's a cardinal sin. And you might say, well, they don't mean pride. They mean it's a, a group of oppressed people and now they're just finding their identity and they're getting some security in that identity. And so what they mean by pride is security in that identity. It's like the word's pride. That's the word that was chosen. And it's pride in relationship, as far as I can tell, to nothing but hedonistic self-gratification. It's like you're gonna, your identity is gonna be your sexual desire. That's your identity, your sexual desire. So that means you've reduced your identity to the most immature and hedonistic part of you. The part that would exploit someone else for your own gratification, for example. The part that would exploit you for your own gratification. And now that's your identity. And now that's what we celebrate. Yeah, no, that's a very bad idea. Three days a week, she taught LGBTQ curriculum in her class. How many of those students are excelling in that classroom? Is everybody in that class getting A's in math, English, grammar, social studies? That we can dedicate three days a week to teach eight-year-olds about sexual orientation? I don't care what kind of sex is being discussed. The word sexuality, nudity, does not belong in the ears in a classroom of eight-year-old kids. And when a parent showed their concern, what does this teacher do? Completely disregards and goes behind the parent's back trying to find ways of how to continue these lesson plans. If you guys want to talk about including all, listening to all, every student matters, our kids matter too. And we don't want those subjects being taught to children who are just eight years old. Sorry to interrupt the video. The channel is now fully demonetized, so if you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel. All links are in the description. Now let's continue with these woke idiots. Hello, my name is Lindsey Graham, and I am a cat. Meow, meow. I'm not a woman dressed as a cat. I am a cat. One look at me, and you know this to be true. I am a woman posing as a cat. You may also think correctly that if I truly believe I'm a cat, 
I have a mental disorder. If I suffer from a mental disorder, and if I'm unable to discern reality, am I safe to be around children? Would you put me in charge of making critical decisions about the safety and well-being of children and about the direction of their education when I cannot even discern truth from fiction? No tail, whiskers, or outfit makes me a cat. Just like no lipstick, high heels, or long hair makes him a woman. Do you believe that the actions of a grown man playing dress up as a woman affects the students and staff positively or negatively? If you were to address me as a cat right now, it's as ridiculous as when you say Miss Bixler and a grown man's voice comes thundering over this. Thank you. And outside my door. Yeah, because he started. Like I don't give a fuck who started it. I'm finishing it. Fuck off home. Oi, don't talk to me like that. You, I'm gonna hate you in a minute. <laughs> 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 Why are you on We're on your side! We're on your side! Holy shit! We're on your side! We're on your fucking side! What the fuck? I'm so tired of white cis women being more dedicated to being called a healer than actually doing the work to be a healer. The only thing that you're worried about healing is your bruised ego and being confronted with your complacency in genocide and your obsession with upholding privilege. We do not need more nice white women. Are you kidding me? And stop asking marginalized people to do the work for you because you don't feel comfortable with it. I am so tired of having conversations with white cis women where they're more upset about the fact that they're being called in or called out than the fact that they're harming marginalized people. The fact that there is little genocide that they are paying for with the fucking advertisements that they're putting all over Instagram. And these are the same women that are the first to minimize the impact of social media and also the first to use social media as their business opportunity to use their voice to create their community. So why is it that when in your mode of healing and community and business, why the fuck is liberation not being centered? Y'all are stealing resources and precious energy and precious time from marginalized people because you are not willing to do it yourself. It's pathetic and it's privileged as fuck. You have so much power. Stop pretending that you can play small and get away with it. Step it the fuck up. Your comfort is not a priority here at all. Hello, my name is Quentin Merritt. I'm a mathematician and a physicist here, a double major, and I also just won the most prestigious award in the country to pursue research at any institution I want, I the National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship. So I think I'm pretty, you know, qualified to say that most of what you're saying is based on, like, old data. For example, gender identity disorder, that's the DSM-4, bro. We use the DSM-5 now for psychologists to be able to talk about- I literally about cited the DSM-5 in the speech, and it's called gender dysphoria, which is I literally the that I used throughout the speech, not gender identity disorder. You sound like disorder, a bozo, bro. And you get no disorder. pussy, and you can't even make your wife wet, bro, so what's good? I have a question. I'm 20. As a mathematician not... and a physicist, what in the hell do you know about human biology? And you got your law degree from nice. Harvard. What do you know about biology? And frankly, I would ask another question. If your logic is so flawed as a mathematician and a physicist, I would suggest that whichever institution gave you an award, re revoke it immediately. The politician who hopes to run England's schools sits with the children of Class 6L at Howitt Primary at Heener in Derbyshire. But sometimes to politicians, children don't always say what's expected. 
Uh, do you know who you'd vote for? Uh, UKIP. You'd vote UKIP? Very good. Why is that? Uh, like get all the foreign out of our country. Uh, Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. A young nigga got it back because I'm brown. I've got a shirt. I've got a shirt. Let's see what it says. What does it say, Chills? F Hashtag FJB. Yeah. That's pretty cool, ain't it? Man, I'm telling you, it is. <laughs> Hashtag fuck Joe Biden. <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what FJB means? No. <laughs> fuck Joe Biden. Oh, goodness. That's what I say, too. Fuck him. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.